Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! Since last time, we finally got out of that necro hall. Oh, thank God. And now we're back in the Fountain Coast. Remember when we were doing the antlion hunt and they were saying something about losing the Site 11 key and it washed ashore somewhere? Well, here it is! I'm surprised I found that so quickly. I wasn't 100% sure where that was. I knew it was around here somewhere, but uh... Oh, there we go. Uh, even if you hit the water after falling off of Bujerba, your bones would have been shattered. But other than that, but this is a Final Fantasy game where you can survive Falls of Infinite Height! So, alright, there we go. So we got the Site 11 key. I just figured I'd pick that up now. As long as I'm here. And I also want to pick up some new hunts. Now, in order to pick up these hunts, you have to have Redis in your party. So I already went back and did that off-screen back at Balfenheim there. And I've got a whole bunch of buffs on everyone ready to go for the next hunt that we're going to be doing. So let's just pick up all these. And we will be doing all of these hunts right now. We pretty much have access to almost the entire world. Actually, I think we do have access to the entire world. Except maybe like a few places that you gotta do side quests in order to unlock. But I mean, we can pretty much do almost everything now. Not quite. I mean, there's still some hunts. Well, you'll see. You'll see. I don't want to spoil the plot. But anyway. Yeah, none of these are... Well, most of these aren't that hard. That's a Katoblapas? I thought it was like, uh... No, something else. I forget. But anyway, ooh, Fafnir, now that one's hard. If you got any special suggestions for dealing with that guy, let me know. Uh, I usually like using a reverse decoy strategy against it, but if you got any brilliant ideas, let me know, because that one's pretty hard. But anyway, now let's go turn in those hunts that we did the other day. Or, well, the last few days, actually. Man, it's been such a long time. Now we're finally done with all of them. Uh-oh. I got the buffs on everyone. I hope, I hope none of them wear off while I'm out here. But anyway, yeah. We got a bunch of hunts to turn in back here at Nalbana. I wonder why all these people have hunts in, like, the Nabreus Deadlands and the Necrohal of Nabodis. Is there some theme going on here or something? I don't know. But anyway, let's turn in the first hunt here. Oh, well, you're welcome. <laughs> you're never really awake. <laughs> For some reason, I just like that line. But, uh, oh, there you go. Ah, oh, it's Jovi again. What cursed axe? More like a cursed spear that I got. Holy cow, I had to go through a lot to get that damn thing. Now you can open that chest in front of, uh, old Dallin's place, but, anyway, we get a little reward for completing that hunt. And we're finally going to finish the, uh, Jovi side quest, too, while we're here. I'll explain that in a moment, viewers. But, uh, let's go turn in those other couple hunts that we got in the area. The last of the old hunts. Well, there's still the, uh, what is that one? The Gilgamesh hunt, but we're a little low-leveled for that. Another reason why I wanted to wait to pick up Redis was because his level is based on your party's level. So, obviously, the higher level you are when you recruit him, the higher level he will be. So I figured let's wait until we go through the side quest areas before recruiting him so we can get him in at as high a level as possible. Secret Bestiary! Yeah, Goliath wasn't that hard. Or was it the other one? No, the Goliath was the easy one. I think. There were the two of them that looked pretty much exactly the same. Well, uh, anyway. It's going to my bestiary. I don't know what you're talking about, but... Anyway. Ooh, we get the Save the Queen sword, which is one of the more powerful swords that you can get. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to get the license for that for Vaughn and Bosch. 
The reason is because at about this point in the game, a lot of enemies start ignoring evade. So you re so shields are getting kind of useless. So there's no really no point in using one-handed weapons anymore. So let's get that for the two of them. Also, um, someone wanted me to mention, H.C. Bailey, uh, Maximilian is not the strongest armor in the game. It's actually the, uh, the grand armor. But it's like a 1% drop from, like, one enemy is ridiculous to get. So I'm not even going to bother with that. When I say, like, one of the most powerful pieces of equipment in the game, I mean things that you can either buy or get from hunts or obtain relatively easily. Like Save the Queen. One of the more powerful weapons in the game. Oh, there's a lot of weapons that have like 118 or 130 attack power or whatever, but they're like ridiculously rare drops or rare steals or uh, rarely found in a treasure chest or something or other, and it's, uh, it's just ridiculous. So, Save the Queen, pretty good there. But anyway, yeah, this is from the, uh, what was it, the Rablon Hunt? Yeah. Now that was the hard one. Holy cow. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, if you keep on killing those skeletons over and over again, they will eventually stop spawning. So, well, maybe I should have done that. But, uh, I, I, I didn't realize that at the time. But, hey, Jovi, where are you going? Get back here. Yeah, that's the thing with this game. It's kind of hard for me to... Uh, Remember every little detail about all these hunts. But anyway, if... Now, this is part of a little side quest with Jovi. When, whenever you complete a hunt in Nalbana... I don't know if it's every single hunt in Nalbana, but... Uh, there's a bunch of hunts in Nalbana. I forget which ones exactly. But there's, I think there's five of them? Or something like that? And if you complete all five of them... Then you get a little dialogue from Jovi here. I wonder who he's talking about. Oh. He must be talking about, uh... What was it? Rex? Rex is our quarterback? But, anyway. So, eh, just a nice little tie-in here to all that stuff. Yeah, it's got people from all over here. Aw, oh, you're my hero. I don't even know what I'm referencing there, viewers. But, uh, but the repairs aren't done yet. It's been two years. But anyway, for completing all those hunts, you get a little reward for doing that. Hooray! And a nice little story there, too. Damn right I'm much better than my older brother. Took me a moment to remember, wait a minute, is he the older one or the younger one? But, anyway, let's go into the aerodrome to, uh, pick up another hunt. Now, you can do the, get this hunt at any aerodrome. It doesn't have to be this specific one. But, uh, well, we're in the area, so I figured, let's do this while we're here. Uh, let's see, I think this is the guy. Yeah, okay. You gotta look for this kid, the Traveler or something. Star Trek the Traveler? No. No, just an ordinary traveler. Yeah, remember, I, I don't know if... I think I went over this earlier. If you talked to him earlier in the game, he was talking about this... This, uh, this guy flying around or whatever. But, uh, you couldn't do anything with it back then at the time. Because, well, he was too powerful. But now we're powerful enough. So, Death Gaze. I don't think he's ever really hard in any of his incarnations in the Final Fantasy games, is he? Like Final Fantasy VI, where he originated, he wasn't that hard. The After Years, he's not too hard. Oops, sorry, spoiling my next LP, but... Spoiler alert, there's a death gaze in there. And he's not that hard. But, uh, sure, why not? Death gaze, the hunt begins! Just like Final Fantasy VI, he's very hard to find. Uh, the way it works is you have to take an airship 
at one of these aerodromes or whatever to another town. doesn't matter which one. Uh, you can go anywhere you want. But uh, let's take a look at my setup for him first. Uh, we got cameo belts on everyone because he can parry your attacks. And if you know anything about me, viewers, you know I hate missing. So, got that set up for everyone. Here's my new gambit setup. I got rid of all those protect gun, shell gun, haste gambits because we don't really need them. Most importantly, we got the new faux flying telekinesis gambit. So that way we can deal with flying enemies without having to use magic or reflect gun. Or whatnot. So here's everyone's new gambits there. So pretty straightforward. I don't want to use the private airship yet. That'll take you to uh, Ridorana. But uh, let's go take a private cabin for now. So basically, from what I've heard, I'm not 100% sure about this, but every time you go from one town to the next, it increases the chances of meeting up with Death Gaze by 4%. And you can just keep on doing that over and over and over again until you get up to, I think, 64% is the max. S or something like that. I don't know. you got to find the boy to talk to, though. Uh, ah, there he is. So, yeah, you got to talk to him in order to verify whether he's getting close or not. But, no, he's not there yet. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back and forth between towns over and over and over again until... Where is it? There it is. I'm just going to go back and forth between the towns over and over and over again until you get the right message from the boy there. And eventually, you'll meet up with Death Gaze. So I'll just take care of this off screen, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've been going back and forth through here a lot. Still haven't met up with Death Gaze yet, but uh, well, we'll find him sooner or later. Ah, there we go. Okay, we got... This is... That's the message you get when you're, like, really, really close to finding him. So, hopefully we'll find him next time. Now, in order to meet up with Death Gaze, though, you have to choose Go by Leisure Craft. So, just so you know. Hopefully this will be the right time. Is it... Coming? Haha! -ha! There we go! Okay, once you get this message instead of the welcome on board! Uh, yeah, choose to fight it. Yeah, once you get that message, that means it's boss time! I like how they use this music for that one. Or for the boss fight here. Just like uh, when you were running from, uh, what is his name? Begamnon? So, alright, let's go on up above deck. This guy is not too hard. But uh, you do want to have all those buffs ready to go that I have. So anyway, yeah, this is a little bit of a unique hunt. I like how they mix it up here a bit. It's a nice touch. But anyway, you got to go above here. There he is. Nice and waiting there for you. Yeah, let's uh, dispel all that. And I'd like to get silence on him. There we go. Got faith on Pinello to help with silence. Oh man, he's got a he's got a physical paling already. Right at the beginning, I hate these palings. That might be one of the most annoying things in the game to have to deal with. Oh well. Let's disable the stealing gamuts. I'll probably edit out the paling wearing off off screen there. Let me know what you think about doing that, viewers. Okay, we're back. I've finished with the, the er, well, we're getting there. Okay, there we go. Okay, the paling's worn off. Now, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about me editing out part of the boss fight to w let the paling wear off. Because, uh, normally I really don't like editing out parts of a boss fight. Because, well, I think boss fights, you know, you want to see the intended challenge of it and everything. But, well, it's a paling. I mean, come on. What am I going to, what's going to do? I think it's pretty tedious and I'm really not demonstrating any strategy. I mean, really, while the paling is up, just maintain your buffs and try to keep everyone alive while you're at it, too. Unfortunately, my bubbles have worn off, so I need to uh, get that going on everyone again. See, do I got... No, Bravery is one off. Okay. 
I do want to get Bravery and Berserk back on Balthier and Redis. Both buffs on both of them. Along with Haste, obviously, too. Because they're going to be my main sources of DPS. Not so much because Redis is actually that powerful, but more so because I can't control him, and that's pretty much all he's going to do is attack anyway. So... I don't know what Redis's gambits are exactly. I forget where I can look that up. There's a way you could look up. There's somewhere online, one of the wikis, that shows like what all of the. Uh... Come on, heal him, heal him. There we go. There's like a wiki online where they show you like all the gambits for your guests and uh, the espers and all that. But I never really paid that much attention to it. So. Uh-oh. Kill him! Kill him! Nuts. He restored a bunch of his HP. Oh, well. We can still kill him reasonably easily enough. I don't think he has any elemental weakness. But I could be wrong. Death Gaze! Vanquished! He's especially not weak to any elements when he's dead. Yeah, exactly. You gotta get up to, like, level 50 to take on that guy. I really hope I'm getting... I get up to, like, level 60 or something by the time I'm done with the game. So that way I can handle the tougher enemies. But anyway, let's uh, get rid of those berserks on everyone. I like using Dispelga on my leader first, so that way he can just get Libra going again. Uh, the other way, Van... Oh, we're already down here. For some reason, I thought we would have been back up top there. But, well, okay, there we go. So anyway, that's uh, that's it for all this. So now we got to do is just turn in the hunt there. We've pretty much just got a few, a bunch of hunts to do. All the ones that you saw me pick up earlier today. That's what. Um, that's pretty much all we got. And then we're moving on with the plot. So yeah, not too many side quests to do. I hope I can get one of the more difficult hunts for my 100th episode. That would be nice. Yeah, I'm probably probably not going to have something extraordinarily epic for my 100th episode, I'm afraid. Oh, well. But hopefully one of the hunts will do. It's not going to be like an epic scene or dialogue or anything like that. But, oh, well. Alright. Got your airship at six years old. <laughs> now the dad's going to have to pay off the bets. Ha ha. Oh, I guess they both win. Man, you must be rich. So, because you guys are rich, I'm gonna get a real good reward for that, right? Right? Or an elixir. Okay, never mind. Nothing too special, but, uh... Well, what I'm gonna do now is, uh... Actually, I'm gonna meet you at Bujerba, uh, first, and then we're gonna head on into the deeper depths of the Lusu Mines. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy XII! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!